physical, like the, the workspace here is fantastic. I mean, we've got uh, anything we need. Uh, we've got, you know, the, the, the space to, you know, to create or to move out, uh, out of your office. You know, we have, we have different places to work. Some people come and they work out on the couches and we go mobile, you know, this, that is a very, uh, invigorating feeling to be able to get out and sometimes you just need to get away from your desk and sometimes you need to go work on a, on a swing or, or a bench or something like that and, and, and that really helps you know change your perspective change your environment we've got a lot of great places to change your perspective around here. Now like I said it's just it's something I look forward to it's not monotonous there's uh, color everywhere there's windows everywhere so you're not just shut in you don't feel boxed in and I think that it helps other people work well. I know it helps me work well when I have, you know, an office that I can look out the window and I can look through and talk to Curtis without having to get up and move or, or anything like that. So it's, it's awesome the transparency we have and also the liveliness of the office. It's not just boring and bland. Um, so the Acres office, I mean, we've been in magazines for a reason, right? They, they've come out here and seen now how open the community is, um, how easy it is to communicate um, in between departments, and then I think the offices provide a place where you can see other people working hard, which inspires you to work hard even more. Um, if you're all locked away and you're only staring at the computer screen all day, it's hard to stay. The office, uh -huh. it's amazing, right? When you walk in, it is eye-grabbing. So it's, it's really intelligent to do, use natural light, um, Everything, everything is made of glass, so that natural light and that natural view always comes in. And I think people don't realize how much your environment impacts how well you work. You know, if you're in a cubicle in an area that doesn't even have a window, that drains your morale. But in Avis, you come in and it, you can feel it. You can feel happiness right when you walk in, and that changes the way people work. I think Russell went back to, I want to make this office comfortable for the employees. I want them to, to want to come here. And I think that by adding all the things that he's added, there's couches everywhere, there's a porch swing, there's a bar, there's TVs, there's a workout room. Um, he's made it not a workplace. The Star Lounge has lots of seating. We have like party lighting, we have guitars, bass, keyboard, um, DJ setup. We also have a flat screen and a PS4. So shortly after I started working here, Russell, knowing that I'm a gamer, was like, so we have the kids come by here every once in a while, and I think I want to get a PlayStation. Can you tell me like what games that we need? And I was like, sure. So here's an action game, here's a fighting game, here's something like we can have multiple players for all these different things. So I gave him a list, and sure enough, he came in what was it, the next day, the next two days, with a PS4, multiple controllers, and a handful of games. I love the office. I helped decorate it. <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. And you know, I'm one of the few people here that was at the old office. And um, so it's uh, very different, you know, very different. And that was just a regular office, and you know, this is amazing. Um, the, the view and um, the uh, glass walls, um, I think, are really great. Um, you know, Russell wanted an open concept, but yet wanted privacy. And and I will admit, it took a little time to get used to because I, every time the person in the office next to me would move, I would be like, "What's what, what's going on?" And but I got used to it pretty quick. But I like, the, I really like the glass walls and the openness about it. But yet, you still have privacy. And. Um, just the porch and you know it's a neat place to go and sit and um, I'm looking I'm very much looking forward to the programming room when it's finished. The, the biggest thing I think it does, I think it communicates Russell's vision for the company more than anything else. I mean I think it's uh, I, I think it's a very much a trying to you know communicate uh, in a way, in a daily way, you know, that, that he does care about us and that he wants us to be happy to, you know, to, to not stress too hard over, you know, the difficult job. And, uh, you know, so I, I think that's what it communicates the most. I mean, they're, they're, it's definitely nice and fun. I enjoy it. But, uh, 
that's what I take most of all. We, <laughs> we always call it an impromptu Friday, but it's not impromptu because we do it every Friday. So it's, it's typically a, a core group of us, but others will start to come in if they're not busy or whatever. So after work on a Friday, come into the Star Lounge, get a drink from the bar, maybe turn on the PlayStation, um, rarely talk about the work week, like cheers to accomplishments, but just just catch up on, you know, nerdy comic books, TV shows, whatever. So I think that that's very important that um, we have a place that we can get together if we want to, and we don't have to have some kind of like permission to do it. But more so than that, the fact that I would want to hang out with my coworkers, because I've definitely worked in places where I'm like, hey, you're cool, I can be nice to you, but we have nothing in common, <laughs> you know? When I first came to Avis, um, yeah, I mean, I, I would have done anything to get a job here. I mean, just about anything. I didn't even care what it took. <laughs> I just wanted to work at Avis. That's all I knew. And so, and uh, it's 100% it's changed my life. It's changed my family's life. 100% for the better.